when you borrow to invest, that's a good thing. But when you borrow just to splurge, then that doesn't work well. Um, for instance, um, when the, the UDP with the Petro-Caribbean money, they were just spending money to be able to win an election, for instance. And they, spread, I remember just in 2015, um, two weeks before the elections, when we had the flooding in Belize City, they spent over four million dollars. What did we get back in return? Hardly anything more than the UDP managed to get an elect, win an election. When you start to build roads at substandard quality and at high prices, then that is when you are doing a disservice to your, to your country. What we are doing is that we're investing wisely. We're investing cautiously, ensuring that whatever we do, we're going to get um, a return on, on our investment. So that when our children become adults and, and they become productive citizens of this country, they can be able to work and the economy is a, such a big, it has grown so much that the taxes that we collect will be able to pay for those loans. It's when you get on an unsustainable debt, like what happened earlier when we got into government, that the debt was really unsustainable. We couldn't keep up with it, especially the, um, the, the, um, the super bond. And the, the other loans that the government was doing with the size of the economy and taxation that we're collecting, we were on an unsustainable path. We have turned things around. PM, bridging the deficit, where is the financing going to come from? And is it correct that it's about 100 million or so um, that this budget is larger over last year's? Um, yes, it is. But what we do with, with, the, with bridging that, that, that deficit is f simply by, from the loans that we get from the IFIs. Okay. We use that, that money. Um, Taiwan helps us every year. And then, then we borrow a small amount from locally, which in effect okay. is, is a central bank.